Hi folks, I'm Marge along and we got here with us Kyle Cooksey and Mikey Napier. We're going to talk to you a little about deer feeders. Hey, I'm Kyle and we're, I'm going to show you, or well, us three is going to show you about how to, what type of feed you should put in your deer feeder. Hi folks, my name is Mikey Napier and I'm going to teach you how to build a deer feeder. The main purpose of having a deer feeder is to keep the deer and game in the area. Not just to feed deer, but other game. Keep them strong, alive, and healthy and fat. Pattering deer is also really important, to, which a feeder helps you pattern them pretty easily to get them in the area at the same time every day. So if you're big on hunting them, you can be in there when they go in there. Here's Chris McBride with his opinion on our deer feeder. It's pretty good. I've got one. Uh, you just got to make sure at the at the L, it kind of tapers off down to the, the end of it. And those deer will figure out when you get to the end of it, they can shake it a little bit and that corn will fall. And uh, they'll they'll be there. I so you personally seen them there? I've got one. I've got one out behind my house. And uh, I don't necessarily hunt deer, uh, but uh, I like to watch them and I feed them pretty often. Do you have any concerns with a PVC pipe feeder? No, not really. Uh, you, just, you know, just got to make sure that uh, it's safe for the environment or whatever, and uh, make sure that uh, uh, they don't get hung up in it. You know, you need a small enough piece of PVC that they can't get their head in there. Yeah. You know, so probably uh, two and a half inch PVC. All right. There's multiple things you are going to need to build a deer feeder. You can use a steel. Pipe, you can use a PVC pipe. Uh, there's some, you, there's some other things you can strap it with: bungee cords, straps, baling wire, anything that'll hold it up. Tape. Uh, you, you can use a bucket, but it's optional. You want to put a little bit around the bucket, up to the bucket, so they can uh, get to the bucket needed. And these are, this is what you're going to need to build a deer feeder. All right, folks, here we are back with you again. R.J. Long, Kyle Cooksey, and Mikey Napier. We're going to talk to you a little about making one. Well, PVC pipe works good, and uh, you got to get a 90-degree elbow at the end and put caps on the end. And uh, how it works is that if, like, you can drill holes in it to keep from the corn souring, and, uh, like, if you can keep it kind of loose or something, you can have the deer, when they figure it out, they can shake it, and the more deer, uh, deer feed will come out. Here we are again, back with R.J. Long, Kyle Cooksey, Mike Napier, and our cameraman, Chance Napier. Uh, we're talking about what we really prefer. I prefer corn. It really helps good, and uh, here's some of their opinions about it. I like deer cocaine. One of my buddies told me one day that he shot a big old 12-point, and he had that drill and rush, and he came back to it and kept on trying to eat it. I like butt bomb. They come to that pretty good. And uh, I like other scents too. I like uh, the trail ends here. That's a pretty good scent and number one doe. Yeah, I like come here deer. It's pretty good. And deer will come up to it and it's kind of neat to watch them eat. Yeah. There's a lot of good things out here. They're all good. Combination of all of them always seems to help. I got a 12 point off, not one, not two, but about four or five things. But. Uh, we hope, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the video. video. Yeah. We want to thank. We want to thank Mikey Napier, Kyle Cooksey, and Chance Napier, and I'm RJ Long.